Good morning, Clodhoppers. This morning we got a chance to watch the White House on the Hill compilation. It's their Release the Chickens Homestead compilation. fortunate enough to be able to collaborate on this chicken compilation so we will leave a link in the description below for their video we want to thank them so much for giving us a shout out and for sharing with others different videos of people throughout the United States releasing their chickens in the morning for a day of foraging and scratching and living the chicken life there's our segment, and it starts around 10 minutes, 10 seconds or so. But please make sure to watch the whole video because it really is interesting seeing the different ways different people release their chickens and other farmstead animals in the morning to start their day. Let it start getting warm. And I'm going to set the egg sculpture whoops, right there next to those are my grease spreaders <laughs> until I crochet or make something different. Okay, I'm going to see if we have any butter in the fridge. I'm going to save my grass-fed butter for when we spread it on toast and such. So I'm looking for this organic butter. Since we got up a little bit earlier than usual, I've got a little bit of extra time before I leave for work. And our egg skelter is starting to get a little bit full. We still have some room, but I want to go ahead and use some of the eggs so that we can keep that rotation system going. So I'm going to do the easiest way that I like to fix eggs besides just popping them in the microwave. I'm going to take the time to scramble them over the stove. Alright, I'm going to test the pan, see how warm it is, and the butter's already starting to melt, so I will go ahead and leave that in there and let it melt. Now I'm going to wash off some of the eggs. Pardon the dishes in that side of the sink, but thankfully we have one clean side of the sink here. Really quick, I mentioned microwaving eggs, and so I want to show you what we use when we microwave eggs. These are ceramic or stoneware, I guess probably stoneware, um, pots. We got these at Burlington Coat Factory, and then we found one or two at local thrift stores and it's really neat because you just put in two maybe three eggs and then whatever veggies or salsa or um, omelet fillers you want to put in there mix it up put the lid on the lid is important because that's what keeps the moisture in it and helps it cook faster and usually somewhere between a minute to two minutes you have a nice omelet now the trick with using these is um, at about a minute or a minute and a half you want to take a fork and slide it on the side and lift up because if the eggs not fully cooked there may be a little bit of liquidy egg still at the very bottom but it helps to lift it up 
and um, be able to move it around so that it kind of disturbs it enough that when you put it back into the microwave to finish cooking, it cooks all the way through. But we won't be using that today. Um, I've got a little bit of time still, so I would rather use the stove top because I think it is the healthier option. Um, but we use the microwave one when time is um, pressed and we still want to have healthy food, um, albeit a tiny sacrifice for having it microwaved instead of on the stove top. And I'm just going to do our normal process for washing eggs. I'm just going to use a little bit of um, dishwashing soap, whatever brand you use, and I'm going to rinse it, wash it with soap, and rinse it off again and put it in my bowl so it's ready for um, mixing and then cooking. I'll put the eggs probably in this side of the sink set them aside so they can be rinsed off and then we set them in this container to dry and then once all the eggshells are dry we crush them up and add them to the chicken's feed for a little bit of extra calcium. Some people do prefer to go ahead and bake the eggshells prior to um, pulverizing them and turning them into a powder just so that the baking process kills any salmonella or other, ba or other bacteria that might be on the eggshells. But I would say if it's for home production, it's up to the individual homesteader to decide how healthy they feel their flock's eggs are and um, if they feel it's a health concern for themselves if they're the ones eating the eggs. Because remember, once chickens get salmonella, then it's gonna be in the eggs. I'm pulling from the bottom of the egg skelter because those are the oldest eggs and we want first in first out to make sure that none of our eggs are getting really old while we're using super fresh ones. Um, the best omelets I think are whenever it, we pull the egg straight from the coop and then put it in the skillet but um, we've got a little bit of back stock and because the egg skelter sits out on the counter um, in ambient temperature we want to make sure that we're rotating those in about a week or two so that they're safe and healthy for us to eat. Remember to pull slow on the eggs from the egg skelter because you don't want to crack them as they're rolling down. And if an egg is a little more dirty, I'll give it a better scrub. Look at the color of this egg, y'all. See if you can. There we go. All speckledy. So pretty. Speckledy is probably not a word. Speckled is. I'm being very careful not to touch the other eggs in the skelter with my hands because my hands are wet. And wherever my hands touch eggshells, it's possible that the bloom could get um, rinsed off and then it no longer is protected from bacteria so um might be overkill but i'd rather be safe than sorry all right i think that's enough eggs we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that'll be good enough filming and washing took a little bit longer than i anticipated so um we do have a bit of browning caramelization of the um, the butter, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna grab another bowl to put my eggshells in until I rinse them, and I'm gonna get started. Pan got a little bit too hot, so I'm moving it off the heat, and then I'll move it back to the heat whenever I'm whenever it's cooled off enough and I need to move it back for cooking the eggs.
And I'm a lazy cook. I don't like to do multiple bowls. In fact, using the two bowls for the eggs is more than I usually do. <laughs> Justin's over here nodding. So whenever I scramble my eggs, majority of the time I just do them in the pan. Justin informed me we are out of the Aldi salsa, so we're going to use some from my parents' garden. Thanks, Mom and Dad! To save some energy, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on for a bit. This was not the lid that came with the set. This is All American, no, it's Kitchen Craft American Cookware. Um, definitely an investment <laughs> made years ago at the Texas State Fair or State Fair of Texas. Um, and this I just got at an estate sale or yard sale earlier this year. But I liked the dome lid and it's a good way to keep the heat in and let the eggs cook on top. The only reason I'm doing that is to try to encourage it to cook faster. Justin informed me the eggs are pretty much there. Do that, just sped that process up super fast. Now, that was not the no-stick method. That was the, let's get some eggs made before I have to rush off to work method. The no-stick method would be properly boiling the sides of the pan as well and having it the right temperature so that um, as I continually stir, the eggs don't stick. But it's still a hearty, healthy breakfast for us. I've got to get going, so mine I'll probably take in a burrito to have on the way. <laughs> ah, thanks for joining us, Claude Hoppers. And y'all, make sure to check out the White House on the Hill compilation. Um, <laughs> release the chickens. Release the chickens! All right. Release the chickens! He does it better. Y'all have a great day. Bye. Hey, Cloud Hoppers. Thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button. Also, the bell so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages, too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all. Bye. Good job. Hmm.